Hello guys, my name is Dmitry Mrzhensky. I continue to create videos about Hasura GraphQL engine and in today's video we will learn how to take the GraphQL schema generated by Hasura and transform it into the set of the TypeScript interfaces and types and how to connect it with your existing Angular application. So no words more, we are getting started. All right, so let's have a look what is given Let's navigate to our app component TS file and the thing I would like to point out is our interfaces. Do you remember in our previous video we created them manually and it's completely fine until we have a couple of queries but imagine if you have a dozens, dozens or um, even hundreds of the queries so there we have a couple of big issues with this First, we have to always keep them in sync. And the second one is uh, we have to write for every query separate interface, which became a very big problem and time consuming. So we have to find some way to do this automatically. And we actually have a solution and solution is um, called generator. Uh, the link I will attach to the video description and this is the tool which allows us to generate types or interfaces based on our GraphQL schema. So let's implement this in this video. First of all, let's go to the documentation page and um, I will scroll a little bit down and I'm looking for installation section and this section tells us that we have to install GraphQL first but we have this already installed and in package.json you can see that we installed this before with the Apollo and the second thing is we have to add the CLI so let's do it immediately I will add this to my terminal and run it and until it's being installed, let's have a look what else we have to do. So we have to initialize our project with this command GraphQL code gen init. So I will copy this line and um, let's wait a little bit. Okay, it was installed. So I can clean up my console and run this code gen init. It will ask me a few questions. So I'll pull it up a little bit and uh, make the font bigger. So it asks what kind of application there will be. So that's application built with Angular. That asks the endpoint where our GraphQL server lives. And there is the where our queries are living. That's we will adjust later on. And now we, ha we have to pick the plugins. There are a lot of them, but for just this test case, I will um, focus on the first three and next it's the type and location for the f file with generated uh, interfaces and now it asks about uh, how to name the code gen, um, code gen uh, config file so I will leave it as a default and now it asks what kind, what name of the script it uh, should be. You, you will see it in a few minutes and you will understand that. For now, I will write just the generate types or whatever. And the last step, we have to install dependencies that what this message below says to us. So I will type yarn and press enter. By the way, yarn, it's um, complete like yarn install it's the same like yarn all right so i will pull it down and uh, let's see what do we have this is our config which we will edit in a minute and uh, in package.json it there was install some additional dependencies and uh, there is our script what uh, was automatically generated. This is exactly what the code generator CLI was asking us one minute ago about the script name. All right, so I close uh, back in JSON and let's start to edit our code gen, code gen YAML. 
and um, we'll start with the schema URL and to do this I have to run my Hasura backend and I will navigate to localhost 8081 8081 yeah and here we go there's our console and what I want to find here this is this URL that's what we have to pass into schema and the second thing we have to extract our queries to GraphQL file and um, yeah we have to place it somewhere under the source folder so let's do it right now I will create the new file under my app folder so I will name it like app uh, query dot um, graphql all right so so far so good now I have to play, uh, take my queries from my app component ts file and place it in our graphql file so I will copy this tasks query then go to app queries and just copy paste it here and the same the same I will do for my mutation which is there so copy this as well go to app query and paste it here so now I can go to packages and I just copy the name of this script and run it and let's see what we will get so yarn generate types okay that was successfully executed and you can see that we now have the new folder named generated and graphql ts file and here we see the whole possible types and uh, interfaces whatever and it completely reflects the schema which hasura engine built for us and you can see that there are also um, injectable services which we can use and we will do it in in a minute so yeah that's everything is there and you can see that for any specific query we have separate types so in some query we can have this field so it will be included for some uh, query we don't have some certain field and it will be excluded for from these types or it's really super powerful and um, yeah, so the second step would be to refactor our app component TS file. So let's do it. And I will start our refactoring from deleting of interfaces and also our queries because we don't need them anymore here in app component TS file and uh, the next thing what we have to do okay we have to adjust the interfaces because this task doesn't exist anymore but exists tasks query type and this tasks query type has the um, couple of properties which is type name and tasks the tasks that's what we exactly need this this is gonna be array of um, tasks actually and uh, then I copy this tasks query and replace our response from with uh, this parameter and okay that's fine and now we have to refactor this line and also we have to um, edit mutations and how we can do this we will do this with the services which we saw before which were auto generated so i'm injecting them right here it will be tasks gql and there will be also tasks gql press enter so that's if we navigate you can see that this is exactly this auto generated service and let's see it in action so i will replace um, apollo with this task gql and this service doesn't have this uh, method anymore but it has the watch parameter 
and we have to leave it empty for now because we don't have any variables and we should not provide a query because this service already knows what kind of query do we need all right so yeah you can see that uh, it returns the query ref that's exactly what we need and this stream we should not touch it anymore because yeah that's that's fine all right then what do we have to do it's mutation for this i will do pretty much the same i will inject the add task gql it also auto generated service and i'll just copy this and replace our apollo then i have to remove our mutations because we also don't need it anymore and i have to uh, leave variables like this because if we have a look at this method you can see that the first parameter is actually variables and the second parameter would be some options all right so looks like we are done let me check yeah just let's remove unused imports and i think we are pretty much done we can run our application and check if it if it's working as it was working before so i will run yarn start okay it's being started all right until it's being started i will show you the whole like whole power of this auto generated file and we'll see the intellis intellisense in action and yeah so there's the tasks, this array, I'm mapping through them, I type dot and you see the whole possible uh, properties which available for me for exactly this query, for exactly this result, I can see them all there. So that's, you can see the super powerful and super useful. Okay, that's, um, the application was successfully built so let's navigate to logo host 4200 there's our application so code again some type something and you can see that it, it is working as it was working before so everything is fine and uh, the last thing i would like to show you probably that's how to configure uh, our code generation because you can see as example let's scroll a little bit up we can see that we have everywhere types and but we would like let, let's say we want to have the interfaces so to do this we can define the config property and there is the uh, declaration kind things and we can define it as an interface and if we rebuild our types and we check it right now you can see that everything was transformed to interface so everywhere interfaces are being used which is great that's maybe not useful for you but if you need yeah you know how to do this and now the problem also that we have this underscore as a word separations and we want as example the pascal or a camel case so for this i can uh, type the naming convention and to use transform underscore to true and if we rebuild this we can see that all underscores should be in theory so let's open one more time yeah all underscores was transformed to just uh, pascal case they were, they were removed and now we have proper uh, naming convention right and you can go further with this you can configure depends on your code style you can go to also docs and uh, inside the plugin what you are using you can see that they have all have the same um, parameters or con possible configuration properties where you can and also code examples so you can read about this more and use 
in your project and adjust it to your code style and do a lot of things. Okay, that was it for today. Let me know in the comment section if the information was useful for you. And I got your feedback from my previous video and he was asking me to create the video about Hasura authentication. And I'm happy to say that the next video is going to be exactly about this topic. So if you are also interested in this and you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, do it, do it right now. And uh, if you're interested in some and other topics, yeah, please let me know in the comments. I will be happy to create such a video for you. Well, what next? I think that's it. So as always, thank you for your attention and see you in the future.